Hello Gear fans and welcome to GearWire.com. Uh, this is an instructional screencast and we're going to be taking a look at many of the features of uh, Sonar 6. In this particular video we're going to be looking at quick groups. And what that is is, um, well first of all let's, let's take a look at regular grouping in Sonar. Up here we have our kick track um, but let's actually focus on the snare tracks. So I have the snare bottom and the snare top uh, that I would be dealing with. Um, there's no audio on these, but we can see exactly what's going on uh, without that. And what you write, what you do is you right-click on whatever parameter you want to group. In this case, it's the output volume of the track, and you select one of the many groups. It's A through X, and then you do the same for this other one. So right now, I'd be able to control the volume for both of of these tracks. Uh, and, no problem, you know, it, you'd probably want to get a, a mix between the two and then group them. Um, but they will they will match each other. Um, so let's quickly ungroup them, clear group. And now they're both ungrouped. Um, and take a look at the function of quick groups. Now, maybe a little bit hard to see, but um, up in the top left corner of every track, uh, there is this little tag that turns blue... You can customize the color, but it defaults to blue, and I've, I've left it that way in my color scheme. And as you can see, you can click and unclick it. But the thing is that if you click and drag, you will select all the tracks that you um, have dragged over to be in quick groups. And now if you take a look, I'm moving the trim, and as you can see, all the trims for the tracks are moving. I'm moving the pan and all the pan settings are moving relatively and that's how they behave in sonar um, and pretty much all the parameters in here uh, my favorite of course is record you don't have to click record on everything you click record once and you're ready to go especially if you're recording a drum uh, drum track with like eight mics is usually what I use and um, to get out of this mode uh, you just need to re-click on one of the uh any of the tracks in fact just to clear the quick group selection um you also don't have to do this to adjacent tracks let's say if i wanted to control the kick and the uh overheads separately all i'm doing there is clicking on the quick group tab and while holding control and as you can see i'm moving the different parameters in the tracks um without actually uh, changing anything. Um, this quick group function will also work with buses. And so down here we can click on our drum bus. And now that's selected. And now let's move around the faders. So as you can see, although our tracks are still grouped together, it doesn't affect our buses. And that's because you can have different groups within your buses, a different quick group within your buses as within your tracks. Um, not sure if people would prefer it either way, but that's really I, how I would do it. So if I want, I could quick group our master, and as you can see, everything's moving. And now this, this quick group works on pretty much everything, say if I were to have a, a send on one of my tracks, um, or two of my tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and click a send but first i'm going to have to create a extra bus and create a send for our kick and our snare top and you can create a send on both of them at the same time if as long as they're both selected and uh, we'll choose a send to bus three and as you can see if we quick group them we can turn the bus on at the same time control the output and the pan now the only thing that the quick groups doesn't address it doesn't let you control is the io say uh i wanted to send both of these kicks to a different bus say our master um so now our kick is going to the master but even though our snare top is grouped with it the snare is not going to the master it's still going to drums so that is not a way to change things quickly <laughs> you just can't group those together um, so thanks for taking a look at this video and uh, keep an eye out for more sonar videos and uh, for the upcoming uh, sonar 7 videos